Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to kind of make like a wobble super saw basically. Kind of like the uh, old school future base super saws where they kind of wobble or LFO basically. And before we get into the preview, I want to do a big shout out to Nerko. He's actually the one who taught me this, so all credit goes to him. All right, let's go ahead and get right into the preview. And then also one more thing before we kind of get the tutorial started, I also want to do a big shout out to Luke Porter and just want to say thank you so much for your donation. I really appreciate it. I just, I just left, honestly, I just left a link there just to freaking leave it there. You know, I wasn't expecting anything. So uh, thanks so much, man. I, I freaking really appreciate that, dude. So just wanted to give you that shout out before we started that tutorial. All right, let's get right into it. So this is actually going to be a, a pretty quick tutorial uh, and we're not going to really dive too deep onto like, you know, how to make a super saw as this tutorial will mainly be focused on just kind of like creating that like, you know, wobbling effect. Basically, um, I have a few other videos already like the NCS walkthrough and my own video on how to layer super saws. So if you want to like check out how to do that, feel free to check those videos out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, and then also in the future, I'll probably do a uh, another how to like make a drop, uh, probably YouTube tutorial because my sound definitely has changed quite a bit since those times. So yeah, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Um, we're gonna the first way we're gonna do it is basically doing it through uh, in Serum using the LFO, uh, and then the second way is basically just kind of using the LFO tool on the whole entire group. So yeah, first thing first is we'll go ahead and um, go into the Serum one. It's gonna be a, it's a very it's a very simple technique um, and again the this tutorial won't be too long. So basically, you know, literally, uh, I'll just kind of do it from scratch. So what you're basically gonna do is just kind of you know pick whatever shape that you want. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it there and then just kind of like put the LFO tool on the volume here. You can also do it on the noise. If you like and then already you're kind of getting that like wobbly effect and then you're welcome to like kind of like adjust the shape you know to whatever you feel is right to you This was also actually a, um, someone actually asked me how to do this through um, my DMs. So this, this is kind of like um, referencing off, uh, one of said the sky's track, I forgot, it was like a VP edit, I think it was. So I think this kind of wobble effect matches that, um, his uh, wobble effect more. So yeah, I mean, again, you're welcome to just play with the shape to like, you know, how you want it, you know, whatever. But we're going to leave it there because I actually like that one there. And then you're also welcome to like try to like put it on the cutoff. And this is kind of like, I think, getting to like flume on how he did it. Starts getting a little bit more like, you know, different. And you can welcome to change the uh, MG low filter. So yeah, that's honestly pretty much it with um, Serum. And I'm pretty sure you can do this too with Serum is kind of like automating the rate. So you can kind of like um, make it like go faster at certain times if you want to emphasize it here. You know, something like that. So yeah, that's basically it for the uh, serum. And then if you want to kind of like, you know, do it outside of serum, uh, like me, for example, I have, um, you know, I'm using silent or if you're using mass or whatever, you can get the same effect using the uh, LFO tool. So basically here, I have the same exact shape or at least more for the most part, try to get the same exact shape. Uh, again, you're welcome to kind of like experiment, you know, with whatever. You know, with whatever shape again. 
you know? So yeah, but again, I, I like that same, you know, kind of wobble effect we had earlier. Just to kind of like try to match that side, uh, said the sky wobble effect. And then again, with the same thing, you can also do the automation with the uh, LFO tool, basically, and like make it to like the 16th note. So yeah, same idea, basically. Um, and then again, you, you probably don't want to go too crazy as it probably get will you know get too crazy, but I think you probably can get away with I mean now see it does get a little too crazy, but you might be able to get away with it if you play with you know just having that rate just a little bit, but probably not the whole entire you know drop basically. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Also, please hit the bell notification symbol so you know when my next video goes live. Definitely have more music production tutorials and I uh, might have a walkthrough. Or we'll definitely have more walkthroughs and I might have a the next walkthrough might be with a bigger artist. We'll see. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted if that uh, uh, follows through. And then uh, please follow me on my social media, uh, Instagram, TikTok. I, will, I post shorter like music production tips on there. So if you want to see more, uh, again, shorter production tips, definitely follow me there. And then also join my Discord. I'm looking to create a community where we can uh, kind of all help each other grow, you know, in terms of music, maybe even share our own like personal struggles in our music journey and stuff like that. Basically trying to get, you know, a bunch of producers together so we can all help each other out basically. So yeah, if that's something that you find interest in, definitely join that. I will leave again all my links in the description below. Thank you so much again. Until next time, much love, peace out.